everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Monica and today I'm going to be unboxing the new Barbie color reveal peel dolls so I deliberately haven't checked out any videos or any information about these because I wanted to leave the whole first impression to be my own and not swayed in any way so I haven't seen anything about these all I know from going to the shops the other day is that there's three different types that you can get the Barbie or her two friends so I picked up the actual Barbie one and then if it's really good I'm gonna go back and get the others but before we start unboxing this just want to remind you to please like all my videos and subscribe to my channel I do videos like this twice a week and there's always something fun and always something different up there especially if you love Barbies it's mostly Barbie related products so without further ado I think we should get into <laughs> that these color reveal peels had come out then I didn't read anything about it and then I was in big W the other day just having a look around and I spotted a shelf full of these so they just got them in they're usually $45 at big W but they were having a toy sale so I got this one for 36 it's a little bit on the higher end of the price point but considering you get so many things I think it might actually be worth it so with these color reveals they're a bit different to the ones before as they come with the doll I assume in the tube and then they come with a whole lot of accessories over this side as well. And there's all different secret reveals that you can open up. So the packaging looks like this. It says there's 25 surprises inside. So the front's got the artwork. It's the artwork we sort of see all the time now for Barbie. And then on the back here, it's got the artwork of the other girl. And the different sort of surprises there is in there. Some more pictures and then a list down here. So... I think we should just get right into it. I don't know where you start. I think you, it's covered in like a plastic. So I'll just, I've got scissors here with me as well. I'm going to need them. So hopefully this is good. I think it's different and probably a little easier to use it that you don't need water. Because sometimes that can be a little bit hard to do. Okay, there's sort of tape all the way around. So if you are planning on getting one of these, get scissors. So the backing comes off just like this, and then it's just a piece of cardboard. I don't know, you could probably keep it and use the artwork if you wanted or recycle it. So then you're left with this packaging here. Take off the plastic front part. And then I assume this is where you get started. So I'm gonna do the doll first. So there's a tab here. Pull it open. Oh, fell right out. Love that for me. So it looks like this. Pretty much how the other color reveal dolls actually used to look. Um, and then they'd come with little baggies as well. So I'm going to open her up. So she looks like this. Oh, okay, she's actually really pretty. Look at her screening. She's sort of got the looking to the side thing that the early Barbies from the 60s had, which is cool. And then she's got all this face paint and glitter and stars. And I love that her makeup sort of purpley lips. And then her hair's got this blue streak through it. What I like compared to the other color reveal Barbies is that she has rooted hair, whereas the other ones were a wig that you'd slid on. So she actually comes with rooted hair, which is super cool. Um, and then her clothes are painted on and they go up to just above her chest there. So she's got one little plastic thing on one of her feet. So I'm going to see how this goes. I assume you just peel it. Oh, so there's a little bit, as you can see on her foot, like a little flap starting. So I'm going to try and peel from down there, see what happens. So it peels off just like paint, really. Or glue like if you had glue and you're peeling it off your skin like I'm sure lots of people used to do when they were younger because I certainly do so the first thing I can see underneath is that her foot isn't just the normal skin color Barbie it's sort of blue and sparkly so I'm interested her upper body is just the normal color so maybe her all of her legs are like that I don't know this is easier than I expected it to be it literally just peels right off and I'm just putting the excess into the little bag that the Barbie came I'm just lifting her arms so that hopefully be a bit easier so 
I'm just making sure I don't miss out any that's up in her hip joints here. So that's one leg done. So yeah, the whole leg is this sparkly blue material, which is cute. Something very different for Barbie. I think besides from the Fairytopia line, I haven't seen anything actually like that myself. So now I'm just moving on to the other leg. This is very, very satisfying. <laughs> and it's so much less messy peeling this instead of dunking it in water. Less preparation, and if you're a kid, this would be easier to do yourself, I guess. This leg's a little bit harder than the other. Sort of peels and rolls as you go. I don't know if it's got a scent. I smell something. Like, not vanilla, but it's not unpleasant. I'm just making sure I get every little bit off. I'm assuming as well the different Barbies and her friends are different colours to peel. Hopefully that would be pretty cool. I oh, can't really get that bit out. But I'll have a look at that later. Um, so now her legs are done. They're both this sparkly material. So now I'm just going to do her torso. Get her arms out of the way. Underneath is like a little, I assume a little painted body type thing. Yeah, it's coming off quite easy. It hasn't been a struggle at all so far. So, so far her pattern is like this. It's like a purple with white diamonds. Underneath is sort of these ridged like stars. I don't think you can see it on camera at all so i'm wondering if that comes out in water or glows in the dark or what that is but i'm sure all will be revealed so it is i'd say the difficult thing is trying to get the little bits that are in the joints here it sort of like flips under into her actual Body cavity. But I'd say that's pretty good. It's pretty easy to get off. Yeah, she ha does have like a scent to her, I guess. But it's easy to get off overall. Now, going back to this little thing. I got the doll out of this part. I think it's now just go for it. So you can just sort of open any as you go. So we'll open this one at the top here. There's two little bags inside. So this, it's like a little bag and then a little animal. So I'm assuming this might be like a little locket of her pet. So I'll try and open this. And then I assume you stick the sticker on the inside. It's got like a one of those carabiner hooks. Yeah, so it opens up. I'm just going to stick the sticker of her pet in there as well. Like that. So that's cute. So I don't know if that's for Barbie or for myself. And then the other little baggie that was in there. It's a little crown for her. So that's pretty. And it matches the tone that her legs are. So I think it's a bit of a theme going on. So I'll pop that on. I don't know which way it goes. I think it goes like this. And it sort of fits in with her makeup as well so next up i'll open this one down the bottom and there's two more surprises in there a purple and a pink so this purple one here they're easy you just rip the tops off okay and now it's a purple crown so something a little bit different i guess you can interchange between the two the design's sort of like a crown it looks almost sailor mooney like there's a and then at the bottom it's sort of like a hanging gem as well on top i don't know why she needs two crowns but i guess if she wants to change her outfit she can and then in the other it's like a looks like a bracelet with a carabiner on it so i assume that might be a charm bracelet that you get to keep for yourself and then maybe 
Maybe this is a charm to go on it. Let's say it is. So I'm going to attach that. It makes sense. Cute. It's all quite plasticky, but you could definitely wear it quite easily. So I'm just looking at the box now and it says it's got a picture of the doll and it's got a picture of the pet and it's got a hot and a cold. So I assume those marks on her body are for when you get them in different temperatures, they must change and different things pop up. So I'm going to open this top one now. And this is a big one. It's got three surprises in it. I'm going to open this green one here. Inside is what looks to be a vinyl reflective top, which is cool. So I'll pop that on her. I like it. The fashions are quite mod and quite trendy and, you know, what we'd wear now-ish. On the back of this as well, there's a little bit of Velcro. So I think there must be something coming that you can actually stick onto it. So... This was the next one that was in there. And inside, it looks like, I'd say a bracelet or a necklace. I'm gonna use it as a necklace. Okay, a little choker, cause it's thick enough and put it around her neck there. That looks pretty cute. She looks very funky in that outfit. And the last thing that was in here are boots. And they're really cute little boots. They're almost like Doc Martens, but they're silver and they've got spikes on them. I'm gonna pop them on now. I like with these shoes how they have the split in the back, so it's a bit easier to pop them on there as well. Well, bam I'm assuming there's gonna be a dress or a skirt or something that comes along with this as well, because you could work it like that, but she needs a little bit of something else, I think. So next, I'm going to open this bottom panel here. Oh, I ripped it. And there are... Oh, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. But hey. <laughs> Guess I'm opening the pink one first. Oh, okay. It is a skirt and it's like a graduated skirt. So it's got a shorter bit at the front and then a longer bit at the bottom. And it's completely in her theme. Sort of almost celestial, like glittery, sparkly. Super, super cute. So I don't know if they're meant to be like outer worldly or they're just, that's their fashion. I don't know. So she's looking good. The outfit's really cool with the sparkly skirt. It goes really well. It's really effective altogether. And then the last thing here is a sachet with glitter in it. Like that, which I think, based on the front, it looks like there's slime or something. So it's got a little sachet of glitter on it. So it might go with that, but I'll hold on to that see what's next so this one here second last panel now it's got two more surprises inside so this is pretty fun because there's literally so much for you to uncover this has got like a little scrunchie that I think can be worn as a bracelet which is cute and then some pink sunglasses which are also cute. So I'm just gonna pop them on the top of her head. So she's wearing a crown and she's wearing her funky little glasses on the top of her head. And I'm gonna put her bracelet on. So that's what she looks like so far. Put them on. It's just hard with the crown because it hangs down a little bit, but maybe I'll That seems to be working so far. She's looking cool. And then in this one here, feels like something soft. Oh, it's like a little denim, little denim short. So you could 
interchange between the shorts or the skirt, which is cute, but I'm gonna leave her in the skirt for now. I like that. I like those, those interchangeable outfits. And then, oh, there's another panel here. I didn't even realize. Third last. So this one feels kind of heavy. Oh, it didn't rip open as easy as the others. Maybe it's just me. Oh, cute. It's a little pet, but it looks like it's color revealed as well. And there must be a little skirt to go with it. So I think you just got to try and peel. So what I've done, I've just scratched with my nail the bottom and the paint's coming off. I didn't realize you have to peel the pet. That's so cool. It looks like it's going to be a bunny, but I guess the surprise is that you can see what color it is and that sort of thing. And that it's not just the Barbie that gets the color reveal, it's the pet too. Its little face is adorable. And as I'm peeling, you can see that its neck is also like movable, so it's not just you can pose it in different ways. And then don't know what if this is a skirt or where it's meant to go on the bunny. But does it say anything on this packaging? Any pictures of the little bun bun? I don't know. It fits over the ear, but I assume it would also fit over the body. I think it's meant to be a little collar. The only thing there's a lot of rubbish that comes along with this, but you know that's it's okay. So the last panel in here, whoa, has a lot of things in it, and there's some paper instructions as well. So I'll just pull everything out and have a look and see what this says. So got the instructions to show all the different outfits and how you use them so so far I've done pretty much everything how I meant to I I think I'll just keep opening stuff this one here it feels like a brush to be honest yeah it's a brush <laughs> which comes in handy it's a good size so you can brush her hair out because when she comes in the packet she's sort of it looks like her hair has been in a ponytail or something, but she was just sort of bundled in a packet. So I don't know, but it's got a little bit of a kink there, but I'm sure it, with time, it'll actually come out and it'll come good. Nice. It also has, this one feels a little bit soft as well. So I think it's going to be another, oh no, it's a sponge. This must be for when you get the cold water and you put it on her to see the different things. This one, wow, is wings. And on one side, it's sort of glittery and matte. And then on the other side, it's reflective and it's protected by a plastic thing. So I'll just take it out of the protector. And it matches her vest almost seamlessly. So I'm just going to stick that to the back of her everywhere. So I think her character is meant to be some sort of fairy or you know, festival goer with fairy wings. Really, really cute. And then the last thing needs to be quite big and heavy. So it's this little case here and it says Barbie on it. And then when you open it up, it looks like it's slime. I think it might be slime. It's like this pot. Oh, it's got a mirror on the inside as well. So it's got this pot here that I'm going to open up. Oh wow, it is glittery slime, but it's got like something in there. It's got, it's got a little package in there. Is that another surprise in the slime? They literally thought of everything. How cool. What the? This is wild. And it's nice slime. It's not too sticky. It's just nice and cool. Am I meant, is this meant to be in there? I assume so. Just use the scissors to open it. And it's a little charm of like a fairy sitting on a moon. And I think, because it's the same colour as the carabiner that was on here, might be to go on here with the charm bracelet. 
my hand is way too big to go in there, but for a kid, that's a cute little charm bracelet there. You've got your one with the pet in it and you've got your little Barbie one. So the front of the packet says that for this slime, these get poured into it. So I don't want to ruin it because it's nice slime, but I guess I'll give it a go. Does it say anything on the instructions? Nothing. Oh, it also says that this necklace bracelet unclips somewhere so you can put it on. But it doesn't look like it does. I can't see any any kinks in it. That's okay. That's fine. I don't have to wear it. Yeah, so on the packet, on the front here, on this little tub, which it looks like the slime, has got this sachet going in. So I'm going to pour it in and hope for the best. So luckily this sort of just has a pull-off thing. So I don't know what else you could use this glitter for. Maybe like craft projects or on your body. So wish me luck. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. Chin chin. Okay, so right now it looks like this. The glitter is the same reflective colour as the wings and the jacket. So I think it's all linked together. But I'm going to try and mix this around a little bit. Because this is not going how I thought. Now it's, it's just kind of made the slime like weird. Because the slime, I'm just going to grab it all out. And try and mix it in. Oh, glitter is literally going everywhere. <gasps> I did not expect this. If you could see my workstation right now, there is just this glittery stuff everywhere. Okay, this is pretty messy, I have to say. Like, <laughs> is this meant to happen? I don't get it. Probably next time I won't be pouring it in. There's a lot more of this glitter stuff than there is slime. So as you can see, some's gone into the slime quite well, but others has not. And I'm just left with a lot of fallout. So yeah, mix the slime together like this. And it's gone in as best as it can, but it can only absorb a certain amount, I guess. Yeah, it's cool. It's a good idea. It's just not very practical at all. Nice slime though. The slime's nice. So I'm just going to pop, oh, no. Pour it back in its pot. And then this little pot goes back into here. So you've got a little container for your slime, which is super cute because usually slime just sort of sits around but if you've got somewhere to keep it like that so I think that's it I'm gonna have to go and get all this glitter off my hands and tidy up a little bit but thank you so much for watching another one of my videos as I said at the start make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any more videos I have coming up I release videos usually Tuesday and Thursday but anytime around then as well but I would love to have you all here on my channel with me it's growing it's starting to grow actually quite quickly which is great I love sharing all my Barbies and my collection and different Barbie products with everyone out there so thank you everyone for your support and your lovely comments I got so many nice comments on um, my last video which was yeah on my March haul so many nice comments so I love engaging with you all so please don't hesitate to message me or get in touch because I'd love to chat to you but that's all for now and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!